kukho lo bonke lokhu okwenzakalayo angaze ngisicabange <coughs> ngemuva kokudlula kaphlungu kwabazali bam ukuthi ngizobona abantu bakithi bebanda be bebanda kanyeka ekushiseni izwe ngothi nje likamejisi ngina besilo ukubhlungu kakhulu ukuthi lesi siphithiphithi ukuthi abe ingxenye esibhekisa umnotho wethu umnotho we umnotho wezwe sonke magweme udlame odlusa kanti nalabo lokuvima nokuphazamiseka kwempilo yakwa abahlupheka kakhulu oweyibona abampofu ngaso lesi sigameko oyibona abazohlupheka kakhulu ngaso lesi senza isenzo esenza kalayo amaketanga okuhlinzekwa alimele kakhulu imdeni yethu isizwe sakithi siyahlonishwa kakhulu umhlaba wonke jikelele futhi saziwa njengezwe isizwe isizwe sakithi siyahlonishwa kakhulu umhlaba wonke futhi saziwa njengesizwe esiziqinyayo kakhulu ngokuba nenhlonipho nokuziphatha ngiyanxusa ke abantu bakithi abantu bakababa ubuzulu buyifa okumele siligade njengomcebo wethu ngakho ke ngiyanxusa isizwe samazulu ukuba sihoxe ekubambeni ichaza ekubhujisweni kwezwe ngiyanxusa ukuthi kube nokuthula nokuthi kubuyiswe isithunzi samazulu ngincusa abantu bakithi ukuba bahole ngesibonelo ngakho ke masingavu masingavumeli ezombangazwe ezombangazwe ukuthi
ngingusa abantu bakithi ukuba bahole ngesibonelo masingavumeli ezombangazwe zisiconsisele izwe lethu phansi isithunzi sesizwe sakithi si si siyengelwe ukuzi ukuzi bube ukuzi ukuzi bube ukuzi ekubhubiseni ekubhubiseni ngakho ke kepha kumele sinquse sonke ukuthi sithathe isinyathelo sibuyele emva sibheke umonakalo odalwe ngabantu bakithi Three months ago, the nation lost a, a king, our king, His Majesty, King Kutul Zweliti Niga Peguzulu. That brought great sorrow to all of us. While we were grieving, we again lost our beloved queen in Lugazi, Umandombi, Lamini Zulu. Yet in spite of all of that, we have experienced, we have never given up hope. For we as a nation know who, who we are and how we withstood simul similar situations in the past during the great tribulations, we remained calm and resilient. What we are witnessing, a wave of chaos and looting, has swept across KwaZulu Natal and has spread across the country since the arrest of our former president, Ubaba Ngamalala. I believe we all agree that it is not the right way to express our, our dissatisfaction. It creates a picture of a, of a people who have lost their dignity. What is even more saddening is that so many of those who are drawn to this lawlessness and criminality are members of the Zulu nation. It has brought great shame upon us all as our fingers are pointed at my father's people. I never thought after the tragic passing of my parents that I would see our own people so complicit and burning down the country. I fully understand the depression born of poverty and unemployment, which lays people, especially our youth, to join in, in this chaos. But I must, I must appeal to all of us to take a great step back and consider the damage that is being done by our own actions. West still, this chaos, this chaos is destroying our, our, economy, our country's economy. But those who will suffer the most from a weakened economy are especially our poor. The vulnerable and the struggle, 
when food cannot be delivered because trucks and warehouses are being banned by our people, we will go hungry. As my father, King Goodwill Zuelitini Gapego Zulu, always said, as a sugar and a naughty damage is. When medicine and vaccines cannot be delivered, there will be no help for the sick and those who are dying. Vital supply chains have been damaged, and it, it, it is our very own families who will suffer the consequences. <clears throat> knowing, knowing that all this is happening in a time of a pandemic, and at a height, the most dangerous variant of the viruses, leads the only conclusion possible. <clears throat> My father's people <clears throat> are committing suicide. One cannot see, but it is happening. Our nation is highly respected all over the world and is known as a nation that is very proud of its dignity and morals. I appeal to you, my father's people. Zulu is a heritage that we cannot cherish and guard as our own treasure. I therefore appeal to the Zulu nation to withdraw from the participation of the destruction of our country, South Africa. I appeal, I appeal for calm, for peace to be restored. I call on our people to lead by example. Let us not allow politics to taint our dignity of our nation to be, to be led to destruction. We are better than, we are much better than this. We are a people of dignity. Let us respect the rule of law and ensure the order returns to, to Wazulu. Nyatogozakulu Ninabesilu. What about Stello Uguti Mapele is where Samandia Napan Lewendia Lacks is when Lassendia Corner. A wee son is cool, um, show it. No, with Billy, Eglandeleni, India, Amandia, Alla Petigwin. Nakore Nina Besilo Sikhezi Iminyaga Emining in Uktuola Nama Nesiso Samandi, a footy sing a baholi by a figure footy Nabase India Giti Nabeti Siabonga Nina Besilo Uti Nesiezi Nabashobo Bay to Abangamandi and Chasing Uktuola Nakore Niti Azuela and Eglo, Kongoba, is Tombe, No Seven Zega, Waminang Zizwang to Tumela, Mang Bona Loko and Zagayo, Niatoros and Nabesi.
my my brothers and sisters a request asking us with what's happening between the Zulus and the Indians that it with, with immediate effect it must come to an end our Indian brothers our closest neighbors and we have the second pop second biggest population of Indians in Wazulu Natal outside of India and through that we have met certain people who have come to us to say thank you to the Zulu people and, and, and the Zulu royal family that you are, you are living with our brothers, our Indian brothers in peace. So I appeal to everyone that we embrace the Indians because we share our land with the Indians. And through that, I appeal for peace, and I want to thank you. <laughs> the king will apologize because he didn't have his reading glasses. In fact, I tried to indicate to one of his aides this way because I could see that he would have problems in reading his message without his glasses. Bye. Bye. She sing el